Hi there, my name is Anthony. I'm a retail sales consultant here with HCTC. And today I'd like to show you how to get your HCTC email account set up on an iPhone or an iPad. To begin with, we uh, need to go to the Mail app and select Other here at the bottom of the list. Presented with some options. The first one here is Name. That's going to be, whatever you put in there is going to be what people see in their inbox when you send them an email. Um, you can leave that blank or you can you can add uh, whatever you'd like. I'm just going to add what's the uh, username for the for the email here. Then it's going to ask you for your email address. Um, and that's going to be the full email address. With the at HCTC. Make sure it's .net. And it's going to ask you for the password. That's the password to your email address. That is case sensitive, so make sure you get uh, upper cases and lower cases uh, correctly on there. And then down below is the is the description. That is uh, when you, when you're on the mail app. Um, it's gonna. It's, that's how the uh, the description of your your inbox. Um, just gonna leave it as the default there as HCTC. We're gonna click next. Uh, the next screen here. We have a couple of options here at the top. The uh, we have IMAP and POP. Um, we recommend you select the IMAP settings. Uh, gonna come down a little bit farther. This this is already filled in, so we're gonna come down here. The host name is going to be mail.hctc.net. Then it's going to ask you for the username. That is your email address with the at HCTC. Password should should automatically fill in, but if it doesn't, that's going to be your HTTC email password. And we're going to come down to the outgoing server. The host name for this is smtp.hctc.net. So again, username is your email address. And then the password, which of course is your HCTC email address password. All right. Once we have that filled in, we're going to hit next. Going to make, going to verify for the email. Now, important step: uh, make sure that you do have your your. Um, your your phone or tablet connected to Wi-Fi. If 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 you've gotten to this point and you haven't, you can cancel out, go connect it, and then just go back through the steps. All right. So it's verified everything. Now at the next spot. Um, the mail slider that's green there, you're going to want to leave that on. You do have the option of, of doing notes as well. You can, you can keep that off uh, as it is there. That's added your, uh, your account. So now it's pulled up the inbox. Should automatically just, should automatically start pulling in any new emails that have come in and also pull up your old ones there. Um, this account doesn't have any emails to it, so that's why everything's blank. Under the mailboxes, you'll see the inbox, uh, any flagged emails, any starred emails, as well as your drafts, your sent mail, your junk mail, and then the trash. We'll close out of that, and like I say, just to get there, go to the mail, and it'll now pull everything up. If you have any any questions, concerns, uh, please feel free to give us a call here at the at the main office, uh, or you can contact our technical support line after hours. It's 
638-4282. Thank you.